Necessity is the mother of all inventions. And with all honesty, my studio space is on the smaller side. And in order to be able to paint more effectively, this led me to creating a custom work table. And surprisingly, it's really not that hard to do. Hello and welcome. My name is Charolimbos, I go by Bob, and I'm not your typical painter. And today I am going to talk to you about how I created my table. Again, I do not have a lot of space in my studio, which led to the creation of this table right here, which it's very simple, but because I can move it with lots of ease, it's actually more useful than you could imagine. In order to create it, I repurposed a bedroom dresser and added wheels to make it mobile. But besides the wheels, I also added a glass top, which comes in handy when mixing paints. I also added a nice little shelf right here in order to hold some extra brushes. And if you're like me, who uses multiple brushes at the same time, that comes quite handy to better organize your assortment. But the most useful thing of all that I've done was making it mobile. So let me show you how to easily add wheels to your table. For this project, you will need four wheels, possibly 16 screws, some drill bits, as an option, some grease, more on that later, a pencil or a marker, and a drill with a drill bit. I chose a set of wheels that swiveled to increase the mobility and they have bearings. As for the screws, the wheels have four openings each. That's why I need 16. And I picked them based on their heads being big enough where they won't fall out of the holes. And also the screws not being too big where they'll penetrate past the wood. Anyhow, for the grease, totally optional grease the bearings in the wheels this is not necessary but i find that it will make moving your table smoother i do this because the factory grease is pretty much non-existent and when selecting a drill bit make sure you pick one that is a little thinner than the actual screws so when the screws go in they are nice and snug the first step is Flip the table upside down. Then start putting all your supplies on top because you are going to be working directly on the bottom of it with it reversed. If you notice, there's already holes at the corners of this table because I actually created this table a while back. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do a demonstration on how I created them. What you need to do is plant the wheels where you want them by using a pencil or a marker, make some marks where the holes will be, and then remove the wheel. After removing the wheel, grab your drill and make sure you put the drill bit that you selected, and then drill some holes into those marks that you made. Try to drill as straight as possible. The holes don't have to be perfect, but leave some room for marginal error. Once you are done drilling, brush away the dust and place the wheel back and align the holes so they line up. And then grab your drill bit the Phillips head in this situation and start drilling in the screws one by one until all four screws secure the wheel on the table. This was just a demonstration on how to do one wheel, but you need to do this for all four corners. So, Make sure before you do anything, drill all the holes necessary by making notations of where to drill with either a pencil, pen, or marker, whatever you desire, as long as the notations are visible. And after you're done drilling all the necessary holes, 
start placing each screw one by one and drill them in until you are completely done. For assurance, grab each wheel and make sure they're nice and snug on the bottom. And when you're done, flip the table again and test it and move it around to make sure your job was well done. And to finalize this table, place a piece of glass on the very top. I got lucky and I found one that was very similar in size, but you might have to get a custom cut. The nice thing about this is you could always replace it if it gets too scratched up or damaged. And now my work table is complete. And as a bonus, it's not a bad idea if you can attach a little shelf on the side of your table. What I did is I used a old stretcher that I was not going to ever use again and drilled some holes through it and also pre-drilled some holes on the table. And then I attached it to the side. By attaching this little shelf, now I have more brushes easily accessible while I paint. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching. I took the time to show you how I made my custom table. Now it's time for me to paint. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments. For me, just being able to move my table is a lifesaver. Plus, I repurposed a drawer that was just going to be thrown away. Once again, my name is Sharalambos. I go by Bob. I'm not your typical painter. Stay tuned for more. Bye.